How to set minimum order quantity in your Shopify store. Hello and welcome to our channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set minimum order quantity in your Shopify store. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So the first thing that you need to do is open your browser and click go to Shopify.com. And to create an account on Shopify, you could also use my affiliate links below the description where I earn a small commission at no additional cost to you. And by using the link, you may also get some discount or rewards upon sign up. But before that, if you don't know what is Shopify, it is a leading e-commerce platform that allows individuals and businesses to create their own online source to sell products and services, in which it provides a comprehensive set of tools and features designed to help users build, customize, and manage their e-commerce websites. And now to start using Shopify for free, you could also click this Start Free Trial button on the top right corner, and upon signing in, you will be directed on this page. In which from here, you will see on the left side panel some of the options that you can start navigating but from here on the left side panel, just proceed by clicking products. In which from here, you will be able to see here all of the products that you have been added or selling in your store. We have here the number of inventory or quantity and other details of it. And now to start setting up the minimum order quantity, all you need to do is simply go on the left side panel and just proceed by clicking the apps option on the left side panel. And from here, just proceed by clicking app and sales channel settings. And from here, just proceed by clicking Shopify app store button in here to proceed and upon clicking on it, you will be able to be directed on this page right here. And below here, if you scroll down, it will show you a variety of applications that you can start downloading or installing on this platform. And now to proceed on the search bar, you can enter the Surichi application. And upon hitting enter, you will be able to see the result of Surichi. And now given all of this result, just proceed by clicking this orange discount. In which by clicking on it, from here, you will be able to see here below the overview about this application in which you can create quantity breaks, volume discount with upsell, limit purchases, bundle product, and many more. And as you can see, the pricing option it offers is starter at $6, but you could also avail the basic and advanced plan, and also start with free trial. And now to proceed, just click the install button below here in order to install this application. Then after that, on this page, just proceed by clicking the install button below. And after installing successfully the application, you will be able to be directed on this page. And for the first step, the first thing that we need to do is to simply enable App Embed. So just proceed by clicking this button below, then you will be able to be directed on this page. Then from here on the left side panel, you will be able to see here Taurichi under App Embeds and just proceed by simply turning on this one in here. Then you could also click the Save button on the top right corner to proceed. Now going back on this page right here, as you can see in here, the app is now enabled. Then we can now proceed by clicking the Next Step button on the top right corner. And after that, in here, the next thing that you need to do is to simply select your plan in order for this application or Richie to work. So you can see we have here a starter plan amounting to $6. And to start free trial, you could also click the start free trial button below here. And after clicking on it, it will show you a pop-up window and just proceed by clicking OK. In which from here, the next thing that you need to do is to simply fill out all of the required information, including to choose your own payment method. For example, I'm choosing PayPal. After that, you will see on the right side panel to proceed by clicking the Approve button below here in order to start using the free trial of 7 days. And upon clicking on it, you will be able to be directed on this page right here. And if you are now done choosing your plan, we can now proceed by clicking the Next Step button on the top right corner. For the third step is to create your first campaign. Below here, you can create Discount Campaign, Create List Campaign, or Limit Campaign. And now to proceed on the left side panel, just proceed by clicking Limit Purchase. And upon clicking on it, the next thing that you need to do under Create Limit Campaign is to click this Create button on Create Limit on Order level. And now from here, all we need to do is to simply fill out all of the required information including the limit order value. However, since we're trying to set a minimum order quantity, we're not going to fill out under Limit Order Value. We're going to focus under Limit Order Quantity below here. Which from here, you can simply turn on This is Status. But to do that, you must have an upgrade account to do so in which you can subscribe to basic or advanced plan. And after that from here, under type limit, you can simply choose limit by mean max quantity. And under minimum total order quantity, let's say I'm going to enter here 3 as minimum. Well, for the maximum is 0. And now from here, the next thing that we need to do is to turn on this status in order for this limit order quantity to work on our Shopify store. And if you're now done customizing and filling out all of the required information, just proceed by clicking the next step button on the top right corner. And after saving it, you will be able to see here that the limit orders is saved successfully. And if we go to our online store by viewing our online store in here, you will not be able to see here the limit order apply on these products. 
And to enable to do that, all you need to do is to go back on this page right here. Then just proceed by clicking the limit purchase. And you will be able to see here under limit product, limit collection, and limit order. And the limit order, it will show you the limit order that we just set up. And to proceed under this limit product, just click add new product that has limit on the top right corner. It will show you a pop-up window at limit purchase for single product or many products. But I'm going to choose single product. And below that, just simply click this search product in here. And after clicking on it, it will show you in here all of the product that you can select. Then click add button below. And after that, from this page, below here, you also need to fill out the minimum limit purchase that we just did earlier and also the maximum limit purchase. So you can see the minimum limit purchase for this order is 3 and the maximum is 0. And if you're now done customizing all of this, just proceed by clicking the save button below here. And just wait for it to be saved. But if you also want to add limit purchase for specific items, include products, or you could also apply to many products if you want to. And alternatively, you could also limit purchase for specific variants, apply these limits to customer lifetime, and many more by simply selecting or checking the boxes in here. And now after saving the changes, you will now be able to see here under this limit product, in which you will be able to see here the quantity limit minimum and maximum. And as you can see, the status of it is on. And now to test this out, just go back on this page or to our store and from there just simply refresh this page in here. After refreshing this page, you will now be able to see here that the purchase limit is now attached on this store, which is only applicable to this product in here. And as you can see, it says under purchase limit, we have here minimum of 3 and maximum unlimited. So if you try to purchase or add to cart a quantity of 1, it will show us on this pop-up window that the order is not valid. But if we try to add to cart a quantity of 3 or more, this is basically what it looks like, in which the item has now been added to our cart. And that means that the minimum purchase limit has been working on this Shopify store. And also, the purpose of setting a minimum order limit in Shopify store is that it ensures our profitability. Minimum order quantities help ensure that customers meet a minimum volume of order that can be beneficial for covering shipping costs and other expenses associated with the product, production, and fulfillment. And using this, we could also manage inventory, leveraging shipping rates, and optimizing packaging and costs, and also maximizing profits. And also, you need to remember that in order to turn on the status, you must have an upgrade account either starter, basic, or advanced plan in order to successfully use the application and set up the limit or minimum order quantity. And also from here on the left side panel, you could also navigate the dashboard option, settings, plan, add-ons, and any other options in here to discover what this application could also do in your Shopify store. But overall, that is just basically how you can set minimum order quantity in your Shopify store. Thank you.